and it's going to be intercepted by Greer. Greer bringing it back 15, down to the 10. He'll try it into the end zone for the score. Throws, and it's going to be intercepted again in midfield. This is Greer with his second of the night. Throws it near oh. sideline, and this is going to be a touchdown. Jamari Greer, and that just might be your kill shot. He throws over the middle, picked off. Jabari Greer gets into the X. I want one of those. I'd like one of those made of me, seeming like I'm a rock star. Uh, we have a special guest at the desk today. Uh, he's currently a free agent, 10-year vet. Uh, he also won a Super Bowl ring with the Saints mm. back in 2010. I think you guys remember that. We welcome to the desk Jabari Greer. Thank you so much for being welcome. here. Welcome. glad to be Those welcome were to the show, awesome bro. highlights, man. That was a, you who, look like who a rock was star. Guy? Who was that guy? Yeah, uh, was Stephen awesome. A., he said he missed you last time. He And again, he misses you again. Can you get back to the studio sooner well, than know, later? You know, it's, 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 you know, Jabari, I blame you. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do, all you have to do is give a brother a call and say, look, this is when I'm going to be here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I would have been there. Uh, See, that screen right stuff. here, man, looks like some 20, 2020 stuff, man. It looks so far in the future. That, that's the real right. size of his head. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> It's That's not, right. No. <laughs> We're see, the hair, nice. see the hairline back? Look, look, man, I'm about a year away from looking like George come, Jefferson, hey, but it's come, all right. Come on it's home, all right. man. Yeah. Bring it on home. Uh, allow me to say, Carrie, yes. I, I'm inclined not to like Jabari Why? because, unfortunately, oh, he know. went to the school that is my arch rival. Yes. I went to Vanderbilt, and he yes. went to Tennessee, yes. and, unfortunately, he kicked our tail every okay. time. I, all I can say is you've been nothing but a gentleman. The last time you were here, as well as today, love your demeanor. We're happy to have you here. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I, I love it here, and obviously being with such so professionals such as yourself, yes. you know, it's always an opportunity. I paid him to say that. Well, let's talk about this because uh, there's a game tonight, 825 Eastern Steelers uh, at Ra uh, Steelers and Ravens play. Both teams missed the playoffs and are looking to turn things around this season. Both have had some off the field distractions. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk about what's going to happen tonight at M&T Bank Stadium. What do you expect, Jabari? Man, I expect the Ravens to come out ready to play. Adversity is a tremendous motivator yeah. in the NFL. You know, when um, when they go through things like this, you know, teams band together. And MNC Bank is a tremendous place to play. The crowd there is ready to get back to some football. You know, I think that anything that happens off the field, as soon as you come on the field and start playing football, it's a great equalizer. So even though it was, it was, it was horrible what happened, I know that these fans are ready to go out there and cheer and get back to some football. So you got to think about it. You know, Baltimore Ravens, those guys, are st uh, they still have Torrey Smith, Joe Flacco, um, Steven Smith. Steve Smith is playing like a, a beast. He's still jumping over people and stiff arming DBs. Beautiful name. Yeah. Beautiful name. <laughs> Best name in football. I like, I like the, the Baltimore Ravens yeah. tonight. And this is a big time rivalry game. So we're going to see some good football tonight. You like the Ravens in the game? I do like really? the Ravens in the game. Even though they're going through some adversity right now mm -hmm. and, and the backfield is going to be switched up. I like young man Justin Forsett. He's been a journeyman for the last five years. He's been on five different teams, yeah. excuse me, in seven years. Yeah. And this guy has just been plugging away. He's great in space. He's, uh, he can take it up the middle. I'll just just watch, watch what I say. Watch tonight. Justin Forsett's going to have a big game. All right, Stephen A., what do you expect tonight? Oh, I expect the Ravens to beat the Steelers tonight because I don't like what I saw from the Steelers once they uh, had a 24-point lead and let the Cleveland Browns erase it and almost win that football game. And to go into Baltimore with the emotions running high, with Peter back in the lineup with Flacco, having Steve Smith still capable of playing the way that he's playing with, with Torrey Smith and Jacoby Jones and those boys, I just think that it's one of those situations where the defense will be inspired. The Steelers won't be able to run the ball nearly as effectively as they were able to do at least at some increments against Cleveland. And I don't think that they're going to be spotted 24 points. I think on a night like tonight, it just appears to be destiny uh, uh, pushing the Ravens yeah. forward. Remember, a team that starts 0-2, only 12% of them have made the postseason. So it's something that the Baltimore Ravens recognize they can ill afford to do to fall into that kind of hole, uh, particularly within the AFC North Division. Big Ben Roethlisberger is going to have a good year. We don't know what Le is going to happen with Le'Veon Bell and LeGarrette Blunt and those boys. But in the end, I just think a night like tonight is ultimately going to work against uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, not for them. Uh, I, def I definitely think that th they'll split this year. But because this game is in Baltimore, I think that'll help Baltimore get the edge and they'll win this game. I agree with what both of you said, but not nearly as strong, strongly as you made the case, especially you, Jabari. You said that adversity is, can be a great motivator. It can also be a great distraction. How many teams, how many times have we seen after a game that a team said, our heads just weren't in this game because we had so much going on this week? 
Now, will it unify or will it split this team because its minds are elsewhere? If, if one team can get its attention, it would be the Pittsburgh Steelers because of this great rivalry. So now we're back to let's just do the pure football. Which team is better? The Ravens are a little better than the Steelers to me. And yet the Steelers look dominant in the first half against the Browns, up 27 to 3. And then you want to talk about falling apart and going Jekyll Hyde? The, the Pittsburgh Steelers at home gave up 288 yards in the second half that they turned Brian Hoyer into Peyton Manning? Because he, he did look like he goes 15 to 20 for 173 in the second half with a touchdown and no interceptions. Pittsburgh Steelers in the second half gave up 121 yards rushing. So even though I'm not sure the Ravens' hearts are completely in this game, I just think they're, they're a whole level better than the Steelers are right now. And I think on defense, they're much better than the Steelers are. My, my only issue with your prediction was you, you had the audacity to, to include Joe Flacco's name as a strength of the Ravens, <laughs> yes, right? Yes. You threw it in there just like on the fly. And I'm thinking that's a plus or a minus yeah. because to me, again, I'm rooting for them because I picked them to, to win a wild card. But in their game against Cincinnati, when push came to shove at the end of the game, when they had a chance, they were up 16 to 15 early in the fourth quarter, and then they lost 23 to 16, as you know. But Flacco wasn't very good at the end of that game. So do you really trust Joe Flacco? Oh, I do. I, I, I do. You know, I don't know him personally, but I've played against him. And in my experience, this guy throws a touch. He has a touch on a deep ball that's one of the best in the league. It is. Can't um, and with, you have to keep in mind, they have John Harbaugh. This guy is a good, good coach. He knows how to put people in position to win. He's a Super Bowl winning coach. And obviously, they are going to put themselves, he's going to put themselves in a position to be successful. Now, to your other point, when you were saying that adversity, you don't believe adversity is it, a good motivator. It, I, it can be a distraction. It, it, it can be a distraction, but being a, a player, having the adversity that we had with, um, with, with the bounty issue, yeah. sure. knowing that we were only playing for each other um, when nobody else believed in us, we buckled down, and there's a lot of games in which we just wheeled our way through. So I understand that adver adversity can be a distraction in some sense, but I believe the leadership is there for the Baltimore Ravens who are not to be. Once you get into white lines, that's a great equalizer. Okay, that's but gonna then be the, tonight. the year after Bounty Gate, then it took its toll, right? It took its toll yeah. because we had, I mean, obviously our leadership you were was gone. gone. Yeah. Their leadership is in place. It is. It, 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 what leadership is left after what leadership Ray, is left you know, yes right, yes okay. but and Ed, Ed but Ray but Daryl Smith no. Daryl Smith is a he's a good leader himself um and I know yeah. that they have they have guys in place on the offensive uh, side of the ball that's going to uh step up and and, and take that role okay I'm going to go close high scoring tonight is I'm going to go up to third I'm going to say Ravens 30 Pittsburgh when does that ever happen in this type of game they, they do they score points <laughs> this is a, they go up and down yeah. this is a hard-nosed game I say 17 to 14 really Ravens. Yes. okay I agree with that I agree with that I think it's going to be somewhere along the line skip of 2017 okay all right, gentlemen. We'll see. We're all on the same page. Jabari, you're hanging out with us throughout the show. Yes. You're going to take a break because it was hard work. Was that hard? It was a Not at all. Pretty easy, right? Better. Yeah, I didn't even break a sweat. He didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. I had good makeup on. It's foundation. Yeah. Uh, uh, we will bring you back in just a few moments, okay? But first, we'll talk about the NFL owner who says if the commissioner is lying, he will lose all the support that he has in the league at this moment. Uh, 